It's Bria Marie. Yeah, you might want to subscribe. And that's on period, sis. <laughs> what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome now i'm sorry y'all i've been gone for a while yes we know i'm sorry but i'm here now and by the title of the video you know what this is about already oh excuse me so let's jump into some things honey listen Woo. so the title of the video is pro probably why plus other things in life why I've been in my age, but yeah, so let's hop into that. So, COVID tried to kill me, y'all. Uh, like, it tried. It really tried. All right. So late April, early May, my mom got off work and she was not feeling well. She was not feeling well. She knew something was up. You know, she was like. Uh, I don't feel good and you know nowadays in the days that we are living in anytime somebody say they don't feel good we automatically rule it out as COVID which is messed up because everything is not COVID but it was COVID <laughs> so her symptoms were I want to say she said body aches really bad she was having bad body aches her sense of smell was going she didn't lose taste, but she lost her smell. And I think she said she was having chills and headaches. So, yeah. She went to the hospital to get tested. And between the time of her getting tested and us waiting on her results, by then I knew I had it. Including my son. My son had it as well. But it didn't affect him bad at all, thank God. Um, with children's tight and all and keeping him hydrated, we broke that fever like within two days. So that was good. But I knew I had it. I knew I did. Because I was having the same exact symptoms that she was having. Plus more. And my mom has asthma. So obviously we're thinking that, okay, asthma is a respiratory disease. And what does COVID do? It affects your respiratory. So we automatically thinking that, you know, it's going to be the worst for her. No, it, it happened to be me that it tries to kill and take out. Like, wow, okay, personal, are we? <laughs> but no. So I was having bad, bad, bad body aches. I was so weak. And I was getting like Charlie horses or muscle spasms in my stomach. It was so bad. It felt like contractions. But the thing about them were they were so sporadic and random to where I could be sitting here right now and it would just happen. And I'll just full on just start crying, like trying to hold my stomach. Almost trying to punch my stomach. You know how you get a Charlie horse in your calf or something and you try to punch it out or walk it out or something yeah it was like that but in my stomach so it was so painful what else i had bad headaches but like i said i was really weak i didn't lose my sense of taste or smell <coughs> <coughs> i still have a cough but i'll explain later why but i didn't lose my taste uh or smell so if you're kind of like using that as a guide to see if you have COVID or not, don't. Don't. Because like everybody should know by now, it hits everyone completely different. I mean completely different, honey, because yeah. So, her results came back a couple days later and she was positive. By then we knew. You know, we already knew when it came back it was going to be positive. We was praying and hoping that it wasn't. But it was. And we, we knew it was going to be. All the symptoms. It was inevitable. Like, we know. So, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know what? When she told me it was positive, I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. Because I have the same exact symptoms as you. I know I have it. All they're going to do is tell me to go home and quarantine for 14 days. So, what's the point of going? 
no, 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 honey, listen. It became so unbearable to the point where I, I could not take it. I had to go to the hospital on top of the fact that I was super, and I mean super weak. I was so weak. I literally could not wash up in the shower on my on my own. My mom had to literally help me. Thank God I still live with my mom, honey, I mean, because I don't know what I would have done without her during that time. Oh, I was going through it. I could not, I had to sit down in the shower. Like, it was that bad. I was so weak. I felt like I was going to pass out all the time. Not to mention, I was so out of breath. Like, I mean, out of breath, honey. Like, all the, by now, I've been recording for five minutes and 32 seconds. By now, I would have been winded. I would have been had to stop. Like, everything was so, like, it was winding me. Every single thing. And so she literally had to come help me wash up in the shower and get me dressed to call the ambulance. So we called the ambulance because by now I'm still having muscle spasms and cramps in my stomach, you know. And I get in the ambulance and they're like, you're not pregnant, are you? I'm like, no, there's literally no way possible for me to be pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. They're like, okay, so maybe it is COVID because you do have a high fever my fever was 103 and I was having chills and body aches and what else symptoms that I had that signified COVID before I got tested I just wanna I wanna just say it was chills body aches headaches and a badass cough I mean the cough was so ridiculous have you ever been allergic to something and it's right next to you and you can't stop coughing like for people who are allergic to smoke I'm not allergic to it but I just hate when people smoke cigarettes around me and that smoke is like triggering you to cough like uncontrollably that's how my cough was it was that extreme it was it was annoying okay I couldn't even get a full sentence out without being winded and going into a cough attack so yeah there's that um so i'm in the ambulance we finally get to the hospital they roll me in towards the desk where they tell them what's wrong with me and right then and there i start having those contracting charlie horses basically in my stomach again so i'm like what the hell is going on like i could not breathe the um, the what is it? What are they called? The ambulance guys. What are they called? Mm -hmm. EMS. So, yeah. So the EMS guy, he set my my um stretcher up a little bit and it was unexpected. So when he set me up, it caused me to get a cramp in my stomach. I felt so bad, but you can hear my screams on the second floor, I'm sure. It was so bad. I could not take it. The other guy's yelling at him like, what are you doing to her? What happened? What did you do? He, he ain't do nothing. My body just stupid right now. So, by this time, they're slowing down a little bit. So, I'm calming down, taking deep breath, ah, whatever. So, they roll me into the waiting room because there's no room to let go. Meanwhile, I'm having a cough attack. I'm in a secluded, like, closed off area of the waiting room I guess they have for COVID patients or people who might have COVID. So I'm sitting over there waiting for them to call me back. I'm in a wheelchair mind you because I cannot walk far because I'm so winded. So they finally call me. They come roll me to the back. Take my vitals. Put me in a room. And my blood pressure was through the roof. Now like I said I my underlying health issue is high blood pressure. That's all I have. I have high blood pressure. It runs in my family, so, you know, that's what I have. And my blood pressure was literally through the roof. They were like, oh, my God, you're in, like, stroke numbers. I'm like, oh, my God, are you serious? And they're like, you're only 26? I'm like, yes. It's like, okay, we have to do something. So they gave me something to lower my blood pressure through the IV. They did my um, nasal swab for the COVID. I guess it was a rapid test because it came back obviously within like an hour or two. So they did that and they sent me off into a CAT scan. I guess, I think that's a CAT scan when they put your whole body through that white tube thingy. Yeah, so I went through that. 
sent me back to my room. They gave me something else in my IV. Mind you, before all that, they had to make me go pee because they're always trying to think somebody pregnant. No, ma'am. I just, I have COVID. I don't feel good. And I never felt it. And I was telling them that my mom's test just came back and she had COVID. And they were like, okay, we're going to test you because just because your mom has it doesn't mean you have it. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. But all these symptoms, I know I had that shit. So, um, yeah. So, I'm waiting in the room, falling asleep down there. I might post a picture right there of me in the hospital. Because I definitely took one looking jacked up in a mess. But don't judge me, honey. I was dying. Okay? <laughs> so, I took one. Um, so, about an hour or two later, they came back. And they were like, well, the nurse, she was really cool. Um, she was a young Italian girl. She was really funny. She was really cute and funny. Um, she was like, I'm not supposed to tell you this. And I'm not going to tell you everything. I'm going to wait for the doctor to tell you. But COVID is the last thing you need to be worrying about right now. But yes, you are positive. I'm like, okay. So, you know, by then I'm scared. Like, what the hell do you mean? It's the last thing I need to be worried about. What's wrong with me, girl? <laughs> so, not too long after the doctor finally comes in. And he's like, hi, how are you doing today? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm like, not so good, as you can see. Like, I look sick. <laughs> like, and first of all, those who know me, I, I'm not going to the corner store looking a fool. Before Monique came out with this no bonnet shit, you would never catch me outside with a bonnet on, ever, at all. It's just not me. It's just not who I am, so. But, baby, when I saw you, I went to the hospital with the bonnet on, a wig honey no I was not worried about no damn hair i was worried about my health literally so i looked a fool he's like well we're gonna be admitting you i'm like why he's like you are positive for covid and your oxygen is extremely low we ran some tests and you have a pulmonary embolism and i'm like what the heck what 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 is that he's like you have blood clots on your lungs y'all i instantly went into tears i start crying like what i have what in my what blood clots in my lungs Whew. i need to calm down right now because i'm getting a little emotional thinking about it that was the scariest news i've ever heard in my life you guys i don't even know how to explain it is this is literally no exaggeration y'all know i'm dramatic as hell <laughs> but no exaggeration this was the scariest news i've ever got in my life regarding myself at least and i'm like so am i gonna die <laughs> he's like no but we have to admit you to prevent death i'm like okay so by now i'm calling my mom crying mommy is up tested positive for COVID and they have to keep me I have blood clots on my lungs my mom's like oh my god for those who know my mom y'all know y'all know how she reacted who a drama queen okay she but I mean not drama queen I'm her child I'm her only child like you know sorry I'm her only child so of course she's gonna you know be scared but she started feeling guilty she's like oh my god if it wasn't for me you wouldn't have it i'm like mom don't even think like that because if it wasn't for the person your co-worker who gave it to you at work knowing they had it and coming to work anyways you wouldn't have got it so there's that but so i was admitted in the hospital for a whole week was it a week yeah it was yeah, it was about a week. It was a week. It was a week. Because I went in April 30th. And I got released the day. No, I got released two days before Mother's Day. I remember because I was home for Mother's Day. And I was home in time for my son's birthday, which is May 12th. So, yeah, I was in a hospital from April 30th to, I'm going to say, about May 7th. Oh, excuse me. May 7th or May 6th. So, while in the hospital, they end up putting me on oxygen. 
which unfortunately y'all I still have to take this damn oxygen it listen life is not easy anymore but yeah so they have me on oxygen um and all these IVs and you know whatever eventually they told me you know the COVID is gone but you have pneumonia still I'm like pneumonia what is going on like y'all want me that like what is this it's giving let's take her out of here because why why I got all of this what's up is this something I'm not telling me like you know I'm scared I've never been hospitalized before other than um high blood pressure i've been hospitalized for high blood pressure literally one time and when i had my son in 2014 so other than that i've never been hospitalized so to know that i was hospitalized because i had covid and covid caused me to have blood clots in my lungs and then left me with pneumonia y'all i was about done i was just like you know what child if if, if it's my time lord just say that you you don't have to just say that because it whew. so <coughs> <coughs> me being me I'm in the hospital still and I go into the bathroom with my camera and I start recording a damn wheel I was thinking if i should insert the clip here but mm, nah because that's a little personal you know that's between me and my family so we're not doing that but i thought i was gonna die i legit thought i was gonna die and i know i've been really silly during this video because i'm trying to make light of the whole situation because it scared the shit out of me let's be real and i'm sorry if y'all hear my fan y'all it's hot i i was never about to be doing no video upstairs in my room as hot as it is in here without a fan so just be happy to see you anymore <laughs> but y'all i recorded a will because at this point i'm dying you know in my mind I'm like, at this point i'm dying i'm scared i'm sad i'm confused on why this is happening to me i don't go nowhere y'all i quit my job in december to be full-time of uh, be a full-time entrepreneur which Here's my blog, one of them, out of many. If you are interested, my um, website will be in the description box below. Shop Bria Bosmetics, period. But anyways, um, I recorded a will. It was that serious to me. I thought I was out of here. But I'm here now. four months later and I, I won't say that I'm completely better but I'm getting there I still have to go see a cardiologist and a pulmonologist once a month pulmonologist for my lungs which the blood clots are gone from my lungs y'all thank god because honey that was so scary and that was exact that was the exact reason why I could not breathe. So if you have well if you don't know if you have COVID, but you you're having a hard time taking deep breaths, you can't walk far, you can't talk for a long time without getting winded, you might need to go to the hospital, honey, because God forbid you might have a pulmonary embolism. So yeah. But um so I was sent home after the week, like I mentioned, two days before Mother's Day, and my son was so happy to see me. I miss him so bad. Thank God for my mother. She kept my son while I was in the hospital, and they both got well while I was in there. But to this day, me and my mom still both have symptoms. We still get random body aches. It, it's just so much um I still have pneumonia <laughs> like I've been at the hospital since May 7th or 6th and it is now August 2nd today 
and I have pneumonia still. It's becoming annoying. I just pray I get better because I, I can't. This I can't listen. My friends had a kickball tournament at night, drunk at a park. I could not go participate because first of all, I refuse to drink right now. But I did. I went. I went to the bar with my cousin last week. Had a good time. Shout out to you, cousin. Hey, Caitlin. So that was that was fun. But running around, listen, I can't even walk Walmart. I can't even walk Walmart, you guys. Like, I get so winded. And I know this might sound not cliche. That's not the word. Mm. I know this may sound shallow. There we go. But I'll be damned if you catch me in Walmart with this damn oxygen on my face riding around in a little hoppy cart thing. I'm girl, I'm 26 years old. I ain't 66. You crazy. You okay. I just won't go. I just won't. But yeah, so that is my COVID story on how it tries to kill me, literally. So ghetto. It, oh child. And with that being said, you guys, and I'm speaking to myself too, because I was definitely one of those people. The cute mask, it ain't working, honey. Me and my mom love, I wish I had one next to me to show. We love those rhinestone cover masks. They're beautiful, they're pretty, you know, they're cute. We gotta make do out of this whole pandemic. But baby, that piece of t-shirt across your mouth is not stopping any COVID at all. At all. Wear a real 95M or whatever that thing is called mask. That's the only way. That's the only way. And even then, girl, I honestly personally feel like COVID is inevitable. I feel like eventually everybody's going to get it. Hopefully it just doesn't hit you as hard as it hits some, such as myself. And then you have some people, like one of my friends, I'm not even going to mention her name, <coughs> who claim they don't believe in COVID, which is the dumbest shit I've ever heard, by the way. I feel like that's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. How do you know? It's not a religion. It's not something to believe in. It's right in your face. You've seen me almost about to die up in the hospital. You got the nerve to tell me you don't think COVID is real? <coughs> okay. Okay. Play them games if you want to. Don't be a dummy, y'all. Don't be a dummy. I'm not saying go get vaccinated because... <coughs> Excuse me. By all means, I had one of the worst cases of COVID. And I'm not getting vaccinated. That's just a personal preference. Because people are still getting vaccinated and still getting COVID and dying from it. So, what would be the point? What's the point? Now, for those who agree with me on the fact that COVID is a man-made disease I, or a virus, I completely agree with that. I completely agree. It's just that it is what it is and it ain't shit we can do about it but keep your immune system strong also shout out to my cousin monique because i had to she was the only person well not the only i'm not gonna say that because a few other people might feel offended but she was one of the only people who actually went out her way to do for me she got up honey she got up and went to walgreens and i cashed up her a hundred dollars to buy me a whole bunch of vitamins this is before i even went in the hospital because i'm like maybe i need to vitamin up vitamin up some vitamin c vitamin d and some elderberry vitamins so she literally went and did that for me she did not have to okay she went all the way to Walgreens, got me those vitamins, 
got them on my porch for me and I came out there and got them and I thank you so much for that because people be thinking like you got COVID you got AIDS like girl calm down okay like calm down yes it's very contagious and I would never put anybody in danger you know of even contracting it from me knowing I had it but yeah all I will say though, COVID definitely showed me a lot of people's true colors. A lot. Family ain't shit. Keep it like that. That is what it is. Only family member who did anything for me when I had COVID was my mother and my Uncle Randy. So thank you, Uncle Randy. I love you. And thank you, Mommy. I love you so much. Other than that... Other family members did anything. My mom, Uncle Randy, my cousin Monique, the only people who did anything for me during COVID. It is what it is. I said what I said. If you offended, take that up with yourself and God. But that is the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was a very lengthy video. Probably one of the longest videos I have on my channel. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And if you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Because I promise, I know I said this before, but I promise I'm back. I'm back, okay? And I have another video featuring my son coming really soon so look look forward for that and i got a few other things i'm about to do so yeah but thank you guys for watching i love you don't forget to like comment and subscribe drop some comments y'all interact with me and join marie mafia because it's lit